Is this frequency open? Is this frequency open? CQ, 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 WX0, MIK, Whiskey X-Ray 0, Mike India Kilo. CQ, 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 WX0, MIK. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Mike Wills Podcast. This is the Dog Days of Podcasting edition for August 20th, 21st, 2019. <clears throat> I am your host, WX0MIK, otherwise known as Weather Mike or Mike or Mike Wills, whatever you want to call me. Just don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> so, um, next two days I think might be a little more chaotic, so I figure why not record a car cast, as I like to call them. So, we're talking about all this kind of stuff, the bait, you know, the technical stuff you want to call it that for how to be a ham radio operator. And if you've listened to my podcast regularly, I've been talking about it a little bit here and there. <clears throat> but what is it that you need to get going? <clears throat> what does this look like? So people have done a couple different approaches from what I've seen in many of the um, Facebook groups I'm in. Some will... Um, buy a radio, they'll start listening, the program, they start listening and uh, kind of get a feel for what people are talk, how people talk and what they talk about. And then there's others who just wait until after they get the license. I waited. I could have maybe done it right away. Six of one, half dozen others, so to speak. Um, <clears throat> so whether you get before or after, it doesn't really matter. What matters is once you do pass the test that you really should have some some sort of something to get on the air, get a little comfortable with it. Not just say, okay, I'm licensed, and then you don't buy radio. You have no way of getting on the radio, no interest of continuing on. You just kind of wasted your time. <clears throat> so what should you get? Well, that really depends on... Um, where you live, kind of, is the way my perspective is on that. <clears throat> there are some people whose approach is, you know, you should get a mobile radio, one of those 50 watt rigs, that way you know you can connect up, you have no ish less issues, and blah, blah, blah. Well, except if you get a mobile radio, well, you can get a, like a 25 watt for like 70, 80 bucks. You can get a 50 watt. I know my wife's cousin just got one for 130. Uh, you know, which in the grand scheme of things isn't too bad, unless you can't afford it. <clears throat> um, my approach would be if you live in an area where you have relatively clear view to the quote, main repeater in your city, I would just um, do a little handheld. Uh, there's a brand called uh, Bofang or Bofung or Baofung or I've heard it pronounced multiple ways. The model is a UV5R or equivalent. So they go as cheap as about 30 bucks and then they have different models. Some of them go up to about 50, 60. <clears throat> and then uh, <clears throat> that's about as cheap as you can get. From there, the sky is almost the limit. So it all depends upon your budget. Personally, I would say get a cheap radio to start with, especially you're a little like, I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing this or not. And go cheap. But, if you live in 
a city with big tall buildings all the time <clears throat> if you um, and I don't want to stereotype Canada I'm sorry the Canadians my experience 100% whether it's northern Minnesota or in Ontario has been lots and lots and lots of trees the cities are relatively clear but as soon as you hit the city limits you got solid trees again so I'm probably stereotyping. I might not be. But if you're up at, up in that kind of an area, you may want to consider getting a mobile radio because you can get more power, you have a better chance of hitting your um, repeaters. Um, the other tricky part, and especially if you're up in Canada with lots and lots of trees, again, stereotype. <clears throat> um, you may have other special considerations that at least down here and i would assume much of the u.s we don't have that consideration unless you're in a tree covered area so at that point talk to your local club and see what they recommend Ugh. yawning already not a good not, not a good start so um and I don't have a particular mobile radio. Uh, depending upon who you talk to, some people will say only get X brands. Other people will say oh, any of the Chinese knockoffs or any of those work just fine for whatever you're going to need. Take everyone's opinion with salt. It's when you start talking radios, you're opening up the um, Emacs versus Vim. You're opening up Mac versus PC versus Linux. You're um, opening up PHP versus Python versus C Sharp or whatever online battleground you want to reference. It's exactly that. There's some that say Yazoo is the only radio. I will only buy Yazoo. Some will say I hate Yazoo. Get anything but Yazoo. Some will say those Chinese knockoffs are junk and don't get them. They're, they should be illegal. <laughs> it runs the gambit. So, you know, if you want to run past me, I definitely don't not an expert, but I've at least watched what other people say. Go right ahead. Talk to a local area or local person. <clears throat> but either way, I would recommend at least getting something so you can get on the air and know where your repeaters are and what's in your city so that you can program it in once you get your radio. Now, if you happen to get before you take your test, resist the, the want to hit the push to talk button because it's illegal. And some radios will actually let you program it so you can't. Oh. So there you have it. Um, next steps after getting your license or just before getting your license, getting a radio. <clears throat> oh, I did forget to mention, if you buy a mobile radio, one that will go in like a vehicle, you need an antenna. You need uh, to wire your, your vehicle. You need to do a lot more stuff. Where a little handheld, you charge it up, you program it, and you're done. So, you know, do, do what you want, but um, ultimately get on, the, get on the air as soon as you get your radio. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, probably have another one of these tomorrow. So until then, uh, 73 from WX0MIK, and the frequency is now clear. The frequency is clear. WX0MIK73